Estee Lauder founded her company in 1946 armed with four products and an unshakable belief that every woman can be beautiful. Today, more than 60 years later, that simple notion has literally changed the face of the beauty business. The company's products are sold in over 150 countries and territories under a number of brand names. These channels include over 30,000 point of sales. Coty Inc. is a global beauty product manufactured founded in Paris, France by Francos in 1904. Its main products are fragrances, colour cosmetics and skin and body care products. It is known for its cooperation with designers and celebrities for the creation of fragrances. The company offices in, appro uh, in approximately 30 countries and markets, sells and distributes its products in approximately 130 countries and territories. Porter's Five Forces. The beauty industry is a highly competitive industry that competes with various product line and sub -brand brandings to reach all types of consumers and big players to try to saturate the market with their sub brands to control the market. Estee Lauder and Coty Inc. both compete in similar, or it goes within without saying in its same market with the various brands under their belt, where we also find other big players like Procter and Gamble, Avon, Lancome and L'Oreal competing for the same consumer. However, Estee Lauder and Coty are presented differently via their core products and their positions in the market. Coty has over 30 brands of fragrances that competes with around 30 brands of Estee Lauder sub-brands as well as the Estee Lauder itself. As Estee Lauder and Coty prediction of industry grows the more it becomes attractive to enter this market in addition to a heavily competitive market of big and small plays of cosmetic and fragrances line that have excellent communication relation with celebrities suppliers and buyers which is a necessity in the industry as well as a huge amount of capital resources and marketing skills which Coty and Estee Lauder have proved to have however Coty in its industry faces more Threats of substitute as fragrances are not a need of consumers, especially in bad economic times, compared to cosmetic goods which affect consumers physically and psychologically when supplied. Yet both companies feel the pressure of substitutes not as a product but from the price as lower and markets products do create some, the same effect as premium products like of Estee Lauder and Coty's. Overall, this market is big that even the power of suppliers has been controlled with big players. But... The likes of Coty and Estee Lauders are the powerhouse themselves of the product line and even they outsource to other suppliers. They are very likely to have more say as the order level will be huge that any su other suppliers would like to get hold of. In contrast to that, the power of buyer in this industry is limited as well to a certain level as distribution channels have same control as it's a main source of channel to meet the end users and they reflect on product through customer service. Otherwise, Coty and Estee Lauder sync the market with their sub branding with different price ranges and quality. Pestle. By operating in the same industry and targeting relatively similar customers and to extent have comparable products, consequently they have faced the similar, same political factors and regulations which impact their business activities. The most important being the Cosmetic Products Safety Regulation 2008 which looks at the product safety assessment, ingredients, content and very specific labelling requirements. This equally opposes threats because it is a time consuming and costly process but also opportunities to maximise the customer's base and product demand due to transparency and quality production of items which satisfy, satisfies the higher end prices. The social factor differentiates between the two companies based on their products portfolio. Estee products are primarily distributed through department stores and it's and 906.8 million have been spent on advertising through promotion in 2012. However, on the other hand, Coty are more, Coty are more easy accessible through similar and independent retail retailers, high street beauty shops and drug stores. The difference from Estee is explicit by Coty's Playboy fragrances range, for example, which is one of their best sellers and can be found in Superdrug for the fraction of the price. Coty comprehends opportunities and to enhance their competitiveness and target the higher end of the market have just secured a partnership with Prado Group to be official distributors of their Mua Mua fragrance. The companies vastly differentiate in their technological approaches. Coty invests many resources to keep on top of the market. In October 2011, they were recognised by the Consumer Good Technology Group as one of the most innovative products. All the SA strives for the same technological advancement. Lately, they have been focused on social media, improving the consumer's communication and creating community. Both strategies these are equally important. Coty will eventually gain a more competitive edge by penetrating into a more luxurious market through differentiation, whereas Estee will possibly maximise sales by gathering a community where consumers can promote products to each other. Benchmarking. Benchmarking is a tool which is used to compare companies' performance within industry. We identify that quality, price, varied range, market knowledge, distribution channels, competitive 
competition awareness and celebrity endorsement to be the most important factor. Both of the companies are in the top five list worldwide within the industry, so the difference are are few. The type of products which Estee Lauder produces are skincare, makeup fragrances, while Coty produces fragrances mostly but are limited in the skincare and makeup. Coty's product average price is higher than Estee Lauder but has 10, 50, 10 to 50 more brands than its competitors. Apart from these differences in other factors such as quality market knowledge, both of the companies are succeeding in their markets with brand awareness and high quality products. The fragrance industry has decreased over the past few years and because of Coty has been completely based on the market there is a high risk of losing market share to its competitors strategic group strategic groups are organization brands within the industry with similar st strategic characteristics there are many different characteristics that are distinguished between strategic groups looking in four dimensional chart with the quality price variety and customer service, we categorize the brands regarding the most successful dimension. Most of the brands are high quality, high variety, high price, while less of the dimensions are low price with less variety as well. Comparing the two companies, we can see within the chart that most Estee Lauder brands are higher quality than Coty's brand. For example, Bobby Brand has the highest quality with MAC than when Chloe and Calvin Klein Coty are the most expensive brands. Looking in the chart as a whole, we can recognize the challenge and the opportunity for both companies. Once the external environment is highlighted, we need to evaluate what resources we have internally. That can help us tackle the external influences. The physical resources of a company have significance and in, in turn it helps maintain a strategy by understanding the potential capacity. Although Coty operates on a somewhat smaller scale, it has exceeded. Estee Lauder's resources will make them internally stronger and gives them an opportunity as a fiercer competitor. Coty's account for 10 power brands which generate approximately 70% of their revenue, but in fact have over 50 other brands. Estee Lauder operates with a more compact product portfolio of 30 brands, which is to an extent, explains why they seem to be better known and more popular than Coty. They can focus their attentions and continuously improve less brands rather than scatter resources over too many brands, which are difficult to manage and as a result do not generate substantial income, which will witness in which will we will witness in the soon. Both companies have clear strategy to grow long term and seek to achieve higher levels of substantial profitable growth to remain a leader in beauty industry, the innovation of products and by putting a greater focus on consumers insight but in doing so they bo both companies need to meet high demand and therefore need to use large amount of resources to successfully meet consumers needs which could force fast decision making and shift them from their strategy. However, both ha companies have clear structure and systemized organization that defines roles in the companies which provide quality and service to maintain company strategy. We also witness that their staff are given training with benefit programs to allow the individuals to grow within the company with new ideas, but in doing so they are increasing their costs. Overall, overall their hard and soft elements complement and justify the strengths and weaknesses. Financial performance. Financial performance sector is a very important tool when comparing two companies or more. It allows us to compare different years and recognize different trends. 2013, Estee Lauder has 6 billion more revenue than Coty and profits were 1.2 billion compared to Coty's 175 million respectively. For Estee Lauder, 82% of net sales came from skincare and makeup products while growth rates for, the, for, for these two market increased by 6% and 5% 5 respectively while fragrance increased by 3%. It is clear why the profits of Estee Lauder are not a lot higher than its competitors. Another reason is because Estee Lauder took advantage of the Asia and Pacific region. More specifically, one-fifth of Estee Lauder revenue came from that region. While Coty's revenue was accounted for only 10% in the same region. Looking now within the company's four-year span, it is clear that Estee Lauder has had more growth in Coty. Coty Inc. lost ground regarding market share in the fragrance industry by 0.2%. Another reason which shows that slow growth at Coty is the economic crisis, which decreased the demand of fragrances through out of the world and especially in Europe. The skin care demand, the skin care and the makeup markets were affected as well, but taken into consideration, Estee Lauder planned to grow from Asia market, market brought profits for the company. Perhaps Coty could also start to research and develop the cosmetic side of the business in the Asia market to gain its profits margin and not just heavily depend on the fragrance to run its multinational business. SWOT analysis strength. From the SWOT analysis, we can clearly see that both companies are well established worldwide, but globally licensee for other big brands. Furthermore, in each market segment, segments, the industry develops new products, redesigns existing one to fit into market trends, which shows they identif identify and consider consumers' preference, which increases the market penetration opportunity and creates closeness to target customers.
Weakness. They both have an unspecified target market, which therefore makes it harder for specific products to suit some people. Estee Lauder limited distribution strategy is a, is a competitive disadvantage, especially as the company competes with several value products. This limits Estee Lauder to reach to the customer's threats. The counterfeit market has been growing in recent years and has been driving the in driving driven by the internet counterfeit market which is adversely affecting the sales of the branded product this has become global and range of goods subject of goods have increased immensely opportunities online channel has been growing popularity as the most preferred channel for several customers this has increased the sales from channel making it the attractive means of for retailers retailers to drive top lines growth e-commerce sale has accounted for 5.2 percent of total retail and sale in sales in 2012 compared to the four percent in 2009 According to the industry, European countries are expected to have online strong growth in the next few years. Coming to the business vision statement, both companies sell in each country on research that has previously been conducted. A variety of brands, it has become extremely easy. They both aim to target different market niches in each region. The, this proves Estee Lauder followed the marketing strategy of bringing the best to everyone we touch and for Koti being faster, further and freer.